Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there pisces pisces sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy Calm. Now for this month, I'm doing things a little bit differently wherein I'm laying out all the cards and the tools that I'm going to be using as I venture to the energies and manifestations of what's really going to be happening for us for December 2019. It's not really something new though. It's, it's what I have already been doing since 2015 when I first started my YouTube journey. And I've noticed that, you know, doing this type of reading here on YouTube is one that really resonates with a lot of people. I don't know why, maybe, you know, it's a lot more detailed as well. It's not just energy. Sometimes I can give specific situations on this type of reading. But then again, it's still a general reading. So I don't want anyone to assume that, you know, it is their situation. I mean, you can though. You can always use that for your own references. But I just want to remind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not connect and tune in for your own specific situation. And the only way to do that is to get a private session with me or with your trusted reader. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. Pisces. Okay, so... Pisces... There is someone that you're thinking about at this time. It could be a man. It could be a woman. Someone very forceful, opinionated. You know, they have a very strong character in themselves. So I'm not sure if you guys are in contact or have no contact. I just kind of feel that you are wanting to connect with this person. You want for things to get better between you and this person. But I also kind of feel that there could be some form of, I don't know, um, a sense of conflict, feeling unsure, or a, a situation that somehow is tense in one way or another. Like you guys are putting on airs between each other. So, you know, I don't know if it's your own ego or, or their ego in place. I just kind of feel that, you know, the two of you might be thinking of one another, but you're not really interacting. There is really no communication in place. And you're being shown here that in the past, you have been really emotional about this. There were a lot of confusion a lot of dark thoughts, a lot of, you know, a lot of things that has made you very sensitive all at the same time. There are a lot of isolation as well, and this has made you doubt a lot of things. It has developed you having trust issues, especially with this person as well. So yeah, there are a lot of confusions in that, but 
you know, I kind of feel that this person might be popping up in your life. I mean, this can happen in different scenarios. This can happen wherein you're not in contact with this person or things have been not so well between you and this person. And something can happen within this month of December. I don't know when though. I just kind of feel that, you know, there could be a trigger point to have a new beginning. Or I don't know, there is some form of positive energy in this situation that is going to come about eventually. And very interestingly enough, we have key, the card of key here with Lenormand. And also when I try to make a clarification card of this magician, it's also another key. And the key in Lenormand has a lot to do with, you know, um, taking action. You know, some form of action is definitely going to be transpiring. Unlocking a situation, you know. Things that has been blocked can be unblocked, that kind of thing. And it has a lot to do with faith as well, you know. The key could be in your hands or, you know, you will find out an answer to whatever troubles that you are having. I do feel that a lot of Pisces out there are quite lethargic. Well, I'm not really sure if lethargic is the right word to use, but I kind of feel that, you know, yes, things have not been doing so well, but it's not like I'm doing anything to change it anyway. And even if I did, you know, I didn't really try it hard enough. And maybe you have your own reasons why you have gone into that isolation you don't want to make an effort anymore those kinds of things i'm getting here that you're just letting it go letting letting god basically a lot of you guys are very spiritual in nature and you are taking a very spiritual approach in this relationship in this love affair or in this person that you are seeking about you are interested about and someone, someone that you are still thinking about, basically. Maybe you're fed up with everything that has happened. A lot of harsh words may have been spoken, even unintentionally. And you are just, you know, tired. And right now you're just praying to God to, to change the situation, maybe? to experience some form of miracle in your life. We do have the high priestess here, so I do see that there could be divine intervention that is going to be transpiring for you guys. Regardless of that, though, I just kind of feel that, you know, when something happens, you are still going to be guarded. There's actually a sense of being unsure whether you want to continue this relationship whether you want to make things work out. But the thing here is that you're not willing to let it go as well. So for me, the answer is pretty obvious. It is to work it out because you're not willing to let go of the relationship. You're not willing to let go of this person. But you're not willing to take action as well, which makes things all at a standstill. But I feel that it could be that for some Pisces out there, either you are going to take action or someone is going to take the action. Finally, the ice is going to break. <laughs> that kind of energy. You are, you know, looking forward to the, to the future. And I kind of feel that there is something that you will be happy about. There is some form of growth in the situation that is going to come into fruition you are going to be receiving something pisces and there could be healing involved here as well there is major opportunities that can happen within the month of december probably not on the early part of it but maybe at the end so um yeah that is really basically what i'm getting here also this could be a situation wherein some form of major decision is going to take place in your love life and your relationship 
or someone is going to fight the adversity to to connect with you again you know even though things have been very frustrating and you don't know how you will even connect with this person you don't know how things are going to even manifest for you guys we do see here that the possibility of you know having the opportunity and helping hand to be with that person again there is an element here of love and friendship that i'm picking up this could be that you know it's like giving you a signal that someone is on his or her way to see you to be with you to talk to you and converse with you again and and I'm here to tell you that, you know, you need to be more open and try not to doubt things, try not to be so hesitant on things and to let things flow, let things happen in your life and don't try to control things. And also, there is no use to always thinking about of the what ifs in life because it may not be necessarily going to be happening anyway you know there's a lot of questions in your mind like how when how is this going to be manifesting so um yeah there there are those instances i actually forgot to pick my oracle card so i'll do it right now so i have my box over here to decide hold on spicy spicy Okay, so I'll pick up my first card. I always have a hard time, you know, making a video and pulling up the cards because I really focus quite a long time before I actually pulled one. So the cards that we have here is that you are on the right path with Archangel Michael. And we also have the card here, Carissa. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. So whatever you're going through, you know, you are at the last stage of things and you're now about to receive something. And last but not least, you have this um, come out of the closet. So there is really some form of information that you are going to know that you are going to find out. Remember, we also have this High Priestess card and this is the card that holds information, that holds secrets. So you might be guarded right now, but I kind of feel that, you know, you also want to find out something. There are unfinished business in this relationship. There are things that you need to know. And I kind of feel that with this magician over here, you will find them out. You know, there are informations that you will find out that you will know within the month of December, which can actually help this relationship, you know, one step at a time. I'm not saying that the two of you are going to be very happy within the month of December and that you guys are going to be celebrating and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that at all. I just kind of feel that, you know, you will make progress to whatever situation that you're going through and you are going to receive something out of that receiving some form of gift some form of goodness it could also be news from someone from afar in distant land is what i'm getting here there's definitely going to be change big change happening for you so if you have noticed that you have been on, you're feeling isolated, you're feeling alone, feeling lonely and all that, I kind of feel that for the month of December, something can actually change. You might get some form of positivity back in your life one way or another. Maybe this is about you loving yourself more. You are going to adapt on that. And in that process, you also get to find out something. Or at the very least, there is an energetical portal, you know, that you are more open to this person again because we can connect with that person. 
energetically. I don't know if you believe in that, but I surely do. It's like that kind of relationship wherein you're hating that person. And secretly you are saying a lot of negative things about your partner. And later on, as weeks or months pass by, you will notice that, you know, that relationship starts falling apart. So it has this same energy. It's just that I kind of feel that for some of you guys, a certain situation that was negative, you're now getting a lot more positivity to it. Maybe you're thinking, sending love, loving energy to that person now. And, you know, you are going to reap the ven- benefits and that you are going to see that things are going to shift in your favor, shift in that relationship. And maybe that person will start showing up in your life as well. We do have here the fifth house and Pluto in the sign of Sagittarius popping up. So there is really a sense of, you know, powerful energies that can make you feel good in the process, you know, whether with you, within your own self or whether, you know, it's something that aids the relationship as a whole. So, um, yeah, whether you're single in a relationship or in a complicated situation, I kind of feel that your emotions is going to be uplifted within the month of December. And that is always a good thing for you guys. So, yeah, information is about to come out and there is going to be some form of clarity that you are going to be experiencing as a whole as well so it's really a wonderful thing because there is going to be some form of shake up happening some form of willpower and determination to push forward something and it could be you know that person having more a push to take things action and to confront you to clear things out to clear misunderstandings and sometimes that is really what we need we all know that we when whenever we do have a lot of nines here we have the nine of wands and a lot of you know nines cards in my plate there's always something that is about to happen for you and yeah that is basically the the nutshell of the entire reading so um yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this reading has given you insight and clarity to your situation. Please let me know how this manifests for you. I'd love to know and hear your thoughts about this. And um yeah, if you'd like a more personal reading to take a look on your own situation with you know predictions and insights that is accurately for your relationship situation and all that. Just go to my website in the stars by and yes if you haven't subscribed to my video yet please do so please click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to make sure that you get notified whenever i post videos like this one thank you guys and i'll see you next year